quickly recall the points that we discussed during this lecture. In this lecture, I have started the lecture with the discussion of Mendeleev's periodic classification system and the first thing that we noticed here was the Mendeleev's periodic law. In this law, we discussed that the properties of elements are the periodic function of their atomic masses. And now what is this periodicity? I have told you that periodicity is basically the repetition of the properties after the regular interval. Then I have told you the main characteristics of the Mendeleev's periodic table. And what were those characteristics? Those were the periods and the groups. These periods were the horizontal rows and the groups were the vertical columns. The total number of groups present in the Mendeleev's periodic table were 8, in which group 1st to 7th have the subgroups A and B, while the group 8 does not have any subgroup. It is basically consists of the 3 rows. These were representing the transition element. Further, we discussed that there are 6 periods. In this Mendeleev's periodic table, elements were following the periodicity as well as the atomic masses. Then we discussed about the merits of Mendeleev's periodic classification system. And the first merit was that, that it was the systematic classification system. Even you can say the first systematic classification system. Then we discussed that in Mendeleev's periodic table, the elements were arranged on the basis of increasing atomic masses. And he has predicted certain new elements which were not present in his time like eka boron, eka silicon, eka aluminium. Then I have told you that there were certain corrections done by Mendeleev in the atomic masses of the element with the help of equivalent weight. And yes, I have also told you that he has also predicted about the position of the noble gases. After that, there was the turn for the demerits of Mendeleev's periodic classification system. I have told you that the first limitation was there that the position of isotope, it was not specified in his table and there were certain elements which have less atomic masses were placed before the elements which have the high atomic masses. So that was the limitation. Then another limitation was there that there was a not specific position for hydrogen. It has a similarity with both alkali metal and halogen but the position was not specified. So these were certain limitation of Mendeleev's periodic classification and yes it was the whole content of this lecture. See you in the next lecture. Till then take care. Bye bye. Thank you.